check this out, Mama Scott. I already done told you. What the fuck? And it was real, the way I read it, that's why it's not best to text people because the mood that they in is going to determine what emphasis that you put on certain words. And the way I read it was totally fucked up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk... You never did say um, what day or what month was this that he you sent him the money? June. June. Okay. And you got and you say you got text message showing the actual event. Yes, I will send them to you as soon as I get out, so you can incorporate them into this. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand. Because I want you to understand that I can support everything I'm saying. I don't want to drag him or nothing like that. But at the end of the day, like I felt like. I don't wait it for my money two times. You had to push your show off because of this, that, and the other. Everybody else got paid. Ain't nobody else on here with that bullshit, but all of them are men. Everybody that you paid is male factors. So you think that because I'm older and I'm mama, get that mama shit out the way, that I'm mama Scott, that you don't have to pay me. So I negotiated that night of the show. I was like, hey, check it out. I said, franchise don't want to come to the show. I said, so how much of the slots? I, I, I either he told me the slots was seven fifty, but the slots was seven fifty. So I said, check this out. Just let him perform and just send me a thousand. Try to get your way out mm -hmm. of paying me so much, cause you already don't said you are gonna double it back, which makes it three grand, right? Right. But I ain't even looking for that, cause I know you were lying about that too, cause you mm -hmm. lied about coming to break the cycle. You ain't got no three thousand dollars to hand me, nigga. So at the end of the day, that Sunday. He, um, I had artists that was in the building from East Texas, not my artists, other artists. I'll show, I'll send that to so you. So did too. franchise turn up? Did yeah. he go? He he showed up early, eleven thirty. Got charged sixty dollars for parking. Was in the building, gave the USB to the DJ. They kept pushing it off, pushing it off. They let the uh, what's that girl name? Uh, Dallas Kiki. Mm -hmm. She performed. I seen the footage. Then 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 it started the mainstream people. So the other, it was a lot the of people. franchise didn't get to perform. He didn't get to perform. You should have made sure he performed if he didn't do number 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why wouldn't you? Make sure that that's done. Because you're, when you see this, this these conversations, you're going to understand why I'm so pissed off, right? Because he went above and beyond to be extra. Extra, wow. extra. Well, Mama Scott, I'm going to be real with you. You know, this is Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Um, we... Definitely look for resolution. Yeah. Is there any way that that could be resolved? You know, because I know you're a woman that ain't just looking to drag nobody. Like, what will it take for y'all to set your differences to the side? He needs to learn how to talk to people, first of all. First of all, he owes me a public apology. I feel like that because you had me promoting your ass to come to East Texas and you never showed up. So that's first. You know, secondly, you did you never keep your word on shit. And then you had the he's been trying to do stuff with me in East Texas. Like, when can we do some shows? When can we I can't do shit with you. Your track record bad. Now I don't want to do nothing with you. So I feel like we need to be in the same room. I, that's how he can resolve it with me. Face me. I don't want to talk to you over no phone. I don't want to talk to you over no text message because I want a nigga to stare me in my eyes and tell me why he fucked over me or why he felt like he could. Mama Scott, I don't think people are sitting in the room with you. We heard what happened <laughs> between you and uh, you and uh, even Camp Nowhere. There are stories about you. What did she do? Yeah, she, 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 you know, I, didn't she, know, I don't know man, about she, this story. She, she what did you do? There, there, there what did you do to Camp Nowhere? Now, it was some time that we don't go into because I don't want to yeah, rip the score. I ain't going to resurrect that yeah, but, right but, now. But, but, <laughs> It's been some times where she she came unwound on some situations, and I understand that when you've been hurt. But yeah. at the end of the day, uh, like I said, Chief, I, I've been knowing him a while too, yeah. you know. And I gotta be real, you know. The resolution gotta be a situation where y'all can sit down and and, and solve, resolve differences because a lot of people in East Texas love. Yeah. Uh, chief, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people rock with him. A lot of people when he show up, they for some reason Tyler loved it, nigga. You I don't know. know. I'm just being real. It's because the night he came, it was finesse. Yeah, it was finesse because that's he overshadowed him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they know the nigga down there. I ain't never seen him come back. Well, did, he been there before. Before oh, that. No. You know what I'm saying? So, only thing I'm saying is... I can't tell you what his records is. I don't know who he is. But maybe you gonna he put can... you in that ice on my damn podcast, too. <laughs> you know what I'm why you give? Why is you giving her ice? <laughs> she got a drink. What ice. you expect? We can't People do that. It's going to pick up, girl. On my back. 
So, no, but maybe for the show, I love to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm always playing devil ad right. advocate. Maybe he didn't make enough money on the show to pay you back the money. He said he didn't. Now, I'm going to be honest about that. Sunday, when I spoke to him, this is another reason why I'm mad. <clears throat> when I spoke to him Sunday afternoon, I sent him a message because I was respecting the fact that you had a show the night before, and I know you probably sleep. So I sent him a text message and told him the amount he needs to send back to me because this is what he said he was going to do, right? I have no difference or no clues thinking no different. I'm going to send your money back the morning of the show because because everybody's showing me the footage. Like, he won like a motherfucker. It's packed in there. They were charging 60 at the... Uh, da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? So everybody knows it's packed in there like sardines. So how did you lose? Mm -hmm. This is what everybody looking at, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm like, yeah, okay, y'all, whatever. When we spoke that evening, because he waited four or five hours in between my texts, and maybe him waking up or whatever to respond back. When we spoke that evening, he was more so like uh, telling me he took a loss, told me he took $15,000 loss. A $15,000 loss. How? So maybe the venue paying the artist to the come out was there? in the hood. Okay, but how much does it cost? I don't know. Probably not much. <laughs> okay, and how many people he had on the roster? Major people. He had a lot of major people on the roster. And what? he had to pay all of these major people mm -hmm. to be on that you, roster. Where, do you feel like you're the only one that didn't get compensated? I don't know. I think I'm the only one that I know of. I don't know. From what I'm hearing, I'm the only one that didn't get paid. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, when we spoke Sunday, he explained to me. I was like, okay. All right, I understand. You know, I piped down a little bit and let him tell me his story. He was like, but I am going to work on paying you back. He did say that to me. I'm going. I'm not going to lie about nothing. So I was like, okay, Don. I get, he said, well, Eventbrite, I don't know what I got on there. And I know Eventbrite funds on Tuesdays. So I waited. I, I went to sleep twice and woke up. Mm -hmm. Tuesday That's when I hit him up. And I was like, hey, do you think you can uh, shoot that back to me sometime today? Then it was the reply and how he replied what did to he me. Say? say, check this out, Mama Scott. I already done told you. What the fuck? And it was real, the way I read it, that's why it's not best to text people because the mood that they in is going to determine what emphasis that you put on certain words. And the way I read it was totally fucked up coming to me. You know what I'm saying? And with, with how I'm already feeling with you fucking over me. Or I feel like you think you can fuck over me. And hearing certain people from Sunday to Tuesday, tell me, no, everybody else got paid. Nate, mama was on the dough. The brother was running the parking lot. The family was on the liquor. How did he lose type shit? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, nigga trying to get over on me. That's how I'm, I'm feeling like that. So I still didn't hit him up aggressively like no bully, as he called me today. I didn't bully you, nigga. He called you a bully? Yeah. When? That's another when? reason why I went live today. When did, where, did he, when? where did he call you a bully at? He him, was live? Him and the young lady that introduced us. Talk okay. today. She was trying to get him to pay me my money because she so he called us. on the three way or something. No, she no, talked to she him. She was talking separate. to him separate, and, and then what, I talked to her later. And what was it? what was? What? And she was telling me that he didn't have plans on paying me my money back mm. because he didn't like how the blogs had picked it up. You don't get a chance to tell me you're not gonna pay me my money back. Like you're just gonna hold me. You know what I'm saying? That's how shit gets twisted. And ain't no nigga in Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, East Texas gonna take that shit. You wouldn't do that shit to no niggas. So what make you think you can do that to me? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what really pissed me off. It be the underlying egos and the way he's used to handling business. I'm not one of your hoes. But wouldn't that make things worse even if he, just by saying I'm not going to pay because the blogs pick it up. That's just going to give you more ammo yes. to keep talking. Like, yes. why, this, if he pay you, he could just squash it. Before I came here at 11 o'clock this morning, I text him. Listen to me. And I said, so you're really planning on not paying me my money back? He never replied. That's when the young lady hit him up. And she was like, nah, he needs to, he just caused more problems for himself. Exactly. By, you know what I'm saying? So then he got fly with her and was like, yeah, I thought we was good Sunday. Nigga, you ain't hit me up with $10? Tuesday? 50 a 100 Nothing. Payment plan? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you working on something. What you working on? You been working on shit for two and a half months. How much working do you need to do to come up with $1,500? Mm -hmm. And if you are a legend, like you say, I'm sure that there are people in Dallas that love you dearly if you are who you say you are. 
Why did it even take you to bypass your own city to come to me to get the help to begin with? Then this person outside of your region help you and you hold them? What day was his um, event on again? Um, it was Saturday before last. Okay, so we, we were in August, mm -hmm. right? And you loaned him this in June. He's supposed July, to pay you June. back. July. July. Mm -hmm. And um, he was supposed to pay July. you. He was supposed to pay you, I want to say by the end of August, so to say, which is right after his event. Yes, because Break the Cycle was in August. So okay. yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to get that timeline. Yeah. Mama Scott. I'm and I'm not even pressed for yeah, I, 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 I want to say this to you. Go ahead. It's not about the money to me. Because I have, as you can see, taken way bigger losses. But the people that I've taken them losses from, they got enough sense not to try to pull my whole card and try to try to really get rah rah with me, knowing that you owe me. You're going to try to move a certain type of way to keep me from exposing you because you know I'm not lying on you for one. And it's going to shed a certain light on you. With him, you can't talk to people a certain type of way like people owe you, like I came to you for a favor and I'm bugging you. You know what I'm saying? Like, learn to talk to me a certain type of way. Learn to talk to people, not even just me. I'm, I'm not saying I deserve to be on no pedestal, but nigga, I blessed your game without no hesitation when nobody else obviously was sending no cash apps. So how how you gonna do that? Oh, you know, the thing I, I have to say, you know, I hate you had the experience, yeah. but I also want to say, you know, quit giving these niggas money. I absolutely Like, I agree. told you that a year ago. Like, like yeah. you got to be careful because yes. people see you as a bag. Yeah. You know, think about, you know, you did business with, like I said earlier, T.I., yeah. Sauce Walker, Boosie. Yeah. Where Big money Yevo. was trying. Mm -hmm. Big Yavo. You've given out a little runny. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've spent money with all these people. So there's been some times you just spent a lot of money. You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, when you you talking, you you talking million dollars yeah you're talking easily a million dollars oh yeah so at the end of the day i get it the 1500 ain't much but it's a tipping point i think yeah. you pretty much at your yeah point I'm, of, I'm over it at this point <laughs> you're at your tipping and i, I, I want to say that to don chief right now as you looking at me or whatever i don't i don't owe you the the opportunity to keep renting space in my head in a negative manner i don't i'm not gonna harbor that i don't harbor any type of ill feelings towards nobody but if people ask me i'm gonna tell the truth you know what i'm saying so it is what it is but i don't have any hostility towards him you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day you karma is real charles and white says not that's what he said yesterday he said karma is not real karma is real you know what i'm saying so the way that you move the way that you treat people it has an effect on things that are forthgoing that you can never even see the people that are tied into certain people can affect whatever you're doing down the line because you don't never really know who's tied into who so you need to move in a manner with ethics and a matter that has respect so people can respect it. We have enough problems as blacks dealing with white people that don't want to see us win. Then we got to sit here and deal with our own people over us. That is not cool. And I'm tired of seeing it. If you scamming us or scamming people because it's an easy lick, stop it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we